Tucking in your t-shirt has become super stylish in my opinion. I'm a big fan of it because it's a move that I like to pull in both my casual outfits as well as my business casual outfits. So here are a few ways that I like to tuck my tees. Up first is this one right here. Call this the full tuck. You just simply tuck in your shirt all the way around your pants. This is a move that I love to pull when I'm wearing trousers with a t-shirt, with some sneakers like I have on right now. It's a very simple but effective outfit. I would always make sure you're tucking it as tightly as you can without it being too uncomfortable. It's going to be a little bit more slimming and it's an easy way for you to break up your legs and your upper body. So for you shorter guys, highly recommend this to really elongate your torso as well as your legs. Up next, we have the loose tuck. If you're trying to get more into this current oversized trend or you're just really enjoying wearing a bigger t-shirt, especially for you bigger guys who may carry a little bit of extra weight around your torso, especially in your midsection, what you do is just tuck your shirt in like you did with the last one pretty tightly, but then you're just gonna take the edges and just gently pull them out so that the very bottom of the shirt is right around the inside of your waistband. And it just gives it a little bit more of a flowy finished product as opposed to it being super tight right around your waist. This is one that I really enjoy for my larger oversized tees like this one because it just creates a much more comfortable aesthetic as opposed to being a little bit more tucked in, a little bit more formal. Up next we have the front tuck or the French tuck if you're a Tan France fan. For this one, if you're wearing a pair of jeans or a pair of pants that have belt loops, you don't even have to unbutton them. Essentially, you're just gonna tuck it in right at the front, right outside of the two belt loops. You can kind of pull it out to adjust it a little bit. And then you just let the sides sort of hang like that. And this is just a really easy way to kind of dress up an otherwise extremely casual outfit and just break up your body without going with a full tuck all the way around. It's kind of a little bit more casual than if you were tucking your entire shirt. Next up is a move that I like to just call the side tuck. On any other time that I'm wearing a big oversized shirt and I don't wanna look like I'm swimming in it, essentially I'll just take either the right or the left side, more often for me it's the right, and just tuck it in right around the front to the side of my hip. And then again, just kind of adjust it a little bit. And this just kind of plays with the dimensions of your waistline so that you're not looking like you're swimming in your shirt especially when I have slimmer pants and a bigger top on like this, it just pulls the outfit together so much more nicely. And finally, our last tuck is the back tuck. Now this is easily the most rare one that I use. It's not a whole lot, but it's for very specific occasions. Essentially, all you're gonna do is just take the back of your shirt, tuck it in right above your butt, right to the, like the back side of your hips so that on the front, it's gonna kind of give the illusion that the shirt is untucked, but then in the back, it's tucked in. Now, the reason that I like to do this are for times when I'm wearing a jacket that's a little bit shorter, like a denim jacket, so that in the front, because it doesn't look bad when it's untucked in the front, it's very even, but then in the back, it's a lot cleaner when you can see it like that, versus if the shirt is untucked in the back, it adds this whole other look that I'm just really not a fan of. It looks a lot sloppier, but if you just quickly tuck in the back, all of a sudden you're looking a lot more put together, a lot more intentional. And there you go guys, five different ways to tuck in your tees. When you're at home and you're playing around with different outfits or you're getting yourself dressed to do something, try different ones. Figure out what works best for your body type. These may not all work for you, but when you find the ones that do, they can really enhance your outfits because it's gonna make it look more intentional, more stylish, but it's also just gonna make you feel a lot better because the clothes you're wearing, are gonna, they're gonna be more flattering. They're gonna fit you how they should. If you enjoyed, hit that thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not already. Go follow me on Instagram for lots of other style tips and outfit ideas. I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.